We will begin with a prayer from ASN student Kristen Dotson. Please pray with me. Our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. You are the creator and the giver of all things. Thank you for another day of life that you have blessed us with. Thank you for this day and what it commemorates in each life sitting here. 
as we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. We thank you for our teachers whom you've used as the tools to piece together each story perfectly. They have so richly loved and cared for us even at our worst. We pray that they have been blessed and that you will continue to use them in the future to put together lives that will honor you. We thank you for the classmates who have become friends. Each story represented is one that you have uniquely put together. We ask that you take and use them for the betterment of your kingdom and that you will be honored by them as well. Your love has been made evident through the relationships we will carry beyond these walls. And on this day especially, we thank you for every family member and friend that you have placed in our lives. They are the glue that held us together through it all. They have cherished us, they have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. Father, again, my prayer is that you use each person to bring your honor, glory, and betterment to your kingdom. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. We love you and we give you all the praise and glory for you are the giver of all good things. In your precious name, amen. Thank you, Kristen. And to everyone, before you, our guests sit down, and I adjust this cap, before you all sit down, I want you to find your graduates, lock eyes with them, and give them a shout out right now, please. Uh, not quite as strong as the earlier group. I think that might be your exhaustion from getting these students through nursing school, but I understand. Um, please be seated. So good afternoon. I am Don Green, president of Georgia Highlands College. Welcome to one of GHC's three graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. This particular commencement is very special and that it includes GHC's nurse pinning. We have chosen to perform multiple ceremonies today, making it possible for us to commemorate greater numbers of our approximately 1,100 graduating students this year. As we celebrate this special occasion, I want to extend collective gratitude to our elected officials, to our community partners, to the donors who support our students through scholarships, to our Foundation Board of Trustees and our Alumni Association Board. Their tireless work has had a positive impact on our students and we appreciate them. It is my honor additionally to bring greetings from the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize the many guests who are celebrating with us via live stream. I'm just saying hello to all the folks at home. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Finally, I want to acknowledge our uh, faculty marshal for this afternoon, nursing pr uh, professor Lynn Herman. Lynn, give a wave. As president, it is always an honor to preside over this very special event. It is the greatest gift while serving as the president of a college. I think I can speak for everyone at GHC when I say nothing brings the faculty and staff more joy than the day we see our students rise as graduates. The day we celebrate each of you graduates for all you have accomplished here at Georgia Highlands College. At this moment, you are making history for yourself, 
for your family, for the family and friends who will follow you. Today, you will leave as a college graduate or as a baccalaureate recipient. That is no small accomplishment. It will remain a special moment in your history forever. Earlier this year, we lost one of our founding faculty members from 1971, Dr. James Cook, a historian who wrote extensively about the governors of the state of Georgia and about Georgia Highlands College. I'd like to summarize just a small portion of his book concerning the importance of GHC's history. He said, the fact that this history of Georgia Highlands College has been published shows its metamorphosis will continue and that those who come after this first group of faculty will be guided by a clear sense of mission, passion, and unity. Values that build the institution and values that position the college to continue to serve as a point of access to higher education. With this class of 2021 being my last commencement at GHC as president, I want to echo the sentiment of mission, passion, and unity in Dr. Cook's historical account. As I do that, I want to begin by saying thank you. Thank you to our faculty and staff. You have been so kind to me through the last seven years. More importantly, you have been there for our students, and I so appreciate that. I also believe that part of the continuity is in having the distinct honor of introducing GHC's interim president, who will continue guiding GHC into the future, as well as helping to preside over today's celebration, our provost and chief academic officer, Dr. Dana Nichols. Thank you, President Green. I look forward to continuing the legacy of GHC by honoring these students with us today who, as you mentioned, are the ones making history as the 51st graduating class at Georgia Highlands College. Yeah. For this reason and many more, it will be our honor and privilege to bestow on you these diplomas today. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our platform guests. Please stand when your name is called. Mr. Jamie Petty, Vice President of Finance and Administration. <laughs> Professor Billy Morris, our 2021 Mace Bearer and recipient of the Wesley C. Walraven Faculty Award for two consecutive years. And please know that you can go on GHC's YouTube channel to listen to Billy's acceptance speech given earlier this morning. Thank you all for joining us today in this celebration. I would also like to take time to recognize traditional platform members, Mr. Donnie Denson, President of GHC Alumni Association, and Mr. Matthew Perry, President of GHC's Student Government Association, for their important work. Donnie and Matthew typically would be on stage and speak with you today, but they have graciously acknowledged the need for social distancing on stage and a briefer commencement ceremony. Graduates, please find messages from these gentlemen in your program. Now I'd like to introduce Jason Lanyon with your class speech. Jason? First things first, Brock is here. I had to say that. 
Well, look around. All my fellow students, look around. You are here. Look around, you're here. Thank you for allowing me a few minutes to speak. I was thinking of something as I came in though, isn't it a strange world we live in that you can get, you can find out if you have a virus in 20 minutes, but you can't get your test grade for 48 hours. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all the teachers and staff. I can't mention everyone, but I really want to mention two. One sitting behind me, Miss Marta Sanderson. What a commitment to the facility. The other one, I'm sure he's here somewhere, he's always somewhere but he's more like a submarine than a battleship. He's doing the work, you never see him. Chance Hooper, thank you so much. I want to address my fellow classmates. Look around, you are here. You did it. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. After all the challenges, all the doubts, you are here. Think about this, EAQ, iHuman, Zoom, clinicals, hell, Zoom clinicals. Clinical calculations test, no big deal, Miss two, you're gone. Preceptorship, exam after exam, sleepless, anxiety-ridden nights before a test, pop quizzes, sim labs, skills checkoffs, HESI, oh, everything HESI. Let this be a lesson to you for the rest of your life. There were many times you didn't think you could do this. You did. Let this be a lesson. You can do anything. You're here. You could have made, uh, Florence Nightingale once said, I do see the difference now between me and other men. When disaster happens, I act and they make excuses. You could have made excuses, but you didn't. Yes, disaster happened, a pandemic happened. You didn't make excuses, you acted and you are here. Edward Croker, famous New York City fire chief said, when a man becomes a fireman, his greatest act of bravery has been accomplished. What he does after all that is in the line of work. I submit to you that that applies to nursing too. It is now our time to join one of the most respected professions on the planet. It is now our time to hone the skills we learned and make the difference we were meant to make. I want to address the family, friends, and loved ones of my classmates and I. Thank you for your support. My classmates want you to know a few things. Number one, we missed you. Oh, we missed you. We could have not done this without you, but we are back and we are better. Give us a little time, we're exhausted, but we are back and we are better. Most of all, we love you and thank you. Finally, as I, as I conclude, there's a young lady in the audience tonight that I really need to thank. She's very special to me. I could have never known 35 years ago when I was sleeping through physical science class and this young lady kept waking me up that I would fall in love with this lady over and over again the rest of my life. Thank you, Paula, for standing by me for one more crazy adventure. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Marta Sanderson, and I've had the pleasure of working with these students. The Georgia Highlands College nursing faculty wish to welcome our new professional colleagues, the members of the Associate in Science of Nursing class of 2021 and our new baccalaureate degree graduates of nursing. We thank the families, friends, and the community for supporting their journey and incredibly hard work especially in time of a global pandemic. The faculty wholeheartedly believe the strength in the embodiment of this class is that of resilience. Our students have overcome incredible personal obstacles. They have added loved ones, they've lost loved ones. They've endured personal illnesses and personal tragedies. And yet, they have endured, they have persisted in their educations. Like the old Timex watch advertisement slogan used to say, they took a licking and kept on ticking. Day after day, semester after semester. Clinicals did not resemble 
the traditional ones, and often included wearing masks and face shields on sweating brow. Classrooms became a 10-inch PC or cell phone monitor, and they did not have the community of their classmates for extended periods of time. Today is the first day they've all been together since March of 2020. Even the APA manual, our uh, scientific writing guide, changed editions. Semester to semester, as Jason pointed out, they adapted to uh, many new electronic learning tools and survived. The weekly uncertainty of what the pandemic would, would change was ever present. And yet they endured, they persisted, and they even thrived, usually with a sense of humor. Many are already employed as RNs or have changed positions after attaining their baccalaureates. This class will be a singular one a notable one. Hopefully no student nurse will ever experience this arduous and erratic journey again. The college and the faculty want to thank you and thank this class for their patience, benevolence, and above all, adaptability. We now give these women and men back to their families and friends in the community as very, very resilient professional nurses and baccalaureate graduates who can tackle any old crossfire hurricane. We encourage all of you to keep following the beloved Dory's advice, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We thank you, wish you the best, and champion all of you to continue your educations in nursing. Bravo and, and congratulations. And now, will all candidates for a bachelor's degree please rise? Mr. President, these candidates have completed all requirements for a bachelor's degree from Georgia Highlands College. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested in the university system Georgia of Georgia's Board of Regents, and delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree, admitting you to all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Recipients, you are welcome to remove your mask as you cross the stage to receive your diplomas. Will the recipients of a bachelor's degree please come forward to receive your diplomas? Graduates, as awkward as this is, I love shaking hands and giving hugs. This year, we're going to be reduced to some fist bumps. I have been to song. enough nursing pinnings that there are gonna be plenty of tears and plenty of hugs between students and faculty. Take it outside. Thank you. Kate, we ready? Leonard V. Carisi, cum laude. Leonard obtained his ASN from GHC in 2019 and is a charge nurse at Wellstar Kennestone Hospital, Neuroscience IMCU. He plans to complete critical care certification and obtain a master's in nursing. Tanisha Harrison. Tanisha obtained her ASN from GHC in 2020. She is currently employed by Wellstar in pediatrics and urgent care. After graduation, she plans to work at CHOA in the NICU. Okay. John Tavius Johnson. 
John Tavius obtained his ASN from GHC in 2019. He is a ventilation and tracheostomy unit manager and plans to attend graduate school this fall with a goal to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Amanda Lee Lewis, cum laude. Amanda obtained her ASN from GHC in 2019. She is currently taking a sabbatical and plans to attend Capella University to pursue a master's degree in nursing education. Laura D. Martinez, magnum cum laude. Laura obtained her ASN from GHC in 2018. She works in the emergency room at Kennestone Hospital and Highland Rivers Health CSU. She plans to gain experience in both specialty areas while obtaining a master's in psychiatric nursing. Giselle Martinez, summa cum laude. Giselle obtained her ASN from GHC in 2020. She works at Redmond Regional Medical Center Cardiology. Rebecca L. Neal, cum laude. Rebecca obtained her ASN from GHC in 2020. She works on a neuroscience unit, step-down unit, and plans to continue gaining experience while obtaining a master's in nursing. Princessa Reyes, magnum cum laude. Princessa obtained her ASN from GHC in 2020. She is currently employed at Floyd Medical Center on the Med Surge Unit and plans to become a nurse practitioner. She also hopes to lead her current team as a charge nurse. Shervana Richardson. Shervana obtained her ASN from GHC in 2014. She is currently employed by Emory University in the hemiparesis cell therapy unit. She plans to attend graduate school with a focus in nursing education. David Thomas Smith, magnum cum laude. David obtained his ASN from GHC in 2020. He plans to pursue a nurse residency position in an ICU after graduation. Christine Nicole Tolero, cum laude. Christiane obtained her ASN from GHC in 2020. She works at Cartersville Medical Center on the Med Surge Oncology Unit. She plans to pursue a preceptor role and then move to a critical care unit. Her long-term goal is to become a nurse practitioner. Will all can oh, I'm sorry, you may be seated. <laughs> Will all candidates for an associate's degree please rise? Mr. President, these candidates have completed all requirements for an associate's degree from Georgia Highlands College. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested in the University System of Georgia's Board of Regents and delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the Associates of Science in Nursing, admitting you to all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Recipients, you also are welcome to remove your masks as you walk across the stage to receive your diplomas. Will the recipients of an associate's degree please come forward to receive your diplomas? Devin Aaron. Devin is thankful for the love and support of her husband, Mark, her children, David and Leah, and her amazing family and friends. Praise the Lord, she is finally graduating. <laughs> Alexandria Rosemary Adams. 
Alexandria thanks her family for endless love and support and for believing in her. She begins her next adventure at Atlanta Medical Center Emergency Room. Goodbye, LPN. Hello, RN. Julie Elizabeth Agee. Julie thanks Grant for his unfailing support, terrible puns, and copious amounts of patience. She thanks her study buddies, friends, and parents for giving encouragement. Julie accepted a position in labor and delivery at Wellstar Kennestone Hospital. Tanya R. Arendt, cum laude. Tanya thanks Stephen for your patience, encouragement, and support. Austin, I'm proud of you, and congratulations on your graduation. Tonya accepted a position at Wellstar Kennestone Emergency Department. Jessica Beth Avila. Jessica thanks God, friends, and family, especially Elizabeth, Elijah, Xander, and Lana. You are my heart. Jessica accepted a position in the Emergency Department at Northside Cherokee, Canton. Abby Ayers. Abby thanks her family and friends for constantly believing in her. God is so good, and I'm thankful he never left my side. She accepted a residency position at Floyd Medical Center. Sean Bailey. Sean thanks his wife and kids for supporting him through the last two years. He is excited to start his new role in the Kinnestone Emergency Department. Alicia Benham. Alicia thanks God for his grace and covering during this challenging journey. She thanks Austin for unwavering support, love, and sacrifice, and her daughters, mom, brother-in-laws, and friends for continuously believing in her. She will start her career at the Wellstar Neuro IMCU. Kelsey Lee Bishop. Kelsey, the faculty congratulate you. Way to go. Crystal Bose Bragg. Because of God's grace and faithfulness, I stand here today. Crystal thanks Jason, Skyler, Presley, Xander, and parents, Karen and Jerry, for unwavering love, support, and prayers. She begins her career on the Wellstar Cobb Neuro Floor. Kaylee Marie Brown. Kaylee gives God the glory for this accomplishment, and she thanks family and friends, especially TJ and Sawyer, for unwavering love and support. After welcoming a new baby boy, she will work at Wellstar's IMCU. Katie M. Brown. Katie thanks her mother, Teresa, and her fiance, Zachary, for believing in her and holding her hand through the tears and joy. Above all is God, but I could not have done this without you. Tony Nicole Brown. Nicole thanks God and her family for unconditional love and support. Mom, thank you for believing in me. And Andy and Kelsey, thank you for your many sacrifices along the way. Nicole accepted a position at Northside Hospital Cherokee ICU. Carly Jessica Comer, cum laude. Carly thanks her family, friends, and above all else, the Lord, for endless love and support. Carly accepted a position at Redmond Regional Medical Center in the cardiac PCU. Briseida Cortez Leon, magnum cum laude. Briseida accepted a position at Wellstar Paulding Hospital and will begin the GHC BSN program this fall. She is forever grateful to God, her parents, siblings, and boyfriend for their unconditional love and support. Kelly Dell. Griswell. Kelly thanks her family and friends for unconditional love and support throughout her journey. And a special thanks to Professor Sanderson, an essential part of her success. <laughs> Bailey Olivia Davenport, cum laude. Bailey thanks God, her parents, and her siblings for getting her through this hard journey. She also thanks Mrs. Sanderson and Ms. Blevins for their guidance. Bailey accepted a job at Wellstar Paulding and will begin her BSN program this fall. Joshua Davison, magnum cum laude. Josh thanks his family for all their support. He will start his nursing career in the emergency department at Scottish Rite this summer. 
Jesus A. Dela Cruz. Jesus thanks his wife Martha and his parents Maria and Jose for their love, support, and belief in him. He starts his nursing career at Cartersville Medical Center, PICU. Semper Fidelis and Si Se Puede. Jamie Catherine DeMore. Jamie thanks God Almighty, her husband, her parents, and anyone else whose shoulder she has cried on. She starts her next, next adventure at Cartersville Medical Center Emergency Department. Kristen N. Dodson. Kristen thanks Peyton, Corbin, and her family for their sacrifices and the grace and love they showed amidst the storm. Then, even if your beginnings are modest, your final days will be full of prosperity. Job 8, 7. Rachel Driver. Rachel thanks God, her family, and her boyfriend Bradley for their support and being patient when nursing school made her crazy. I love y'all. <laughs> Nicole Regine Eccles. Nikki is grateful she is changing her credentials from LPN to RN after 16 long years. She thanks her husband, children, and friends for support and encouragement throughout her glow up. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia Bailey Fuquay. Bailey accepted a position in CCU at Redmond Regional Medical Center and thanks God, her two amazing daughters, fiance, and family for their unconditional love and support. Suzanne Davis Garrett. Suzanne thanks her entire family for their unfailing support and her biggest cheerleader husband, Mike. She begins her career at Floyd Medical Center to God be the glory, for his mercies are never ceasing. Tracy Gentles. Tracy thanks her family, Gary, Megan, and Taylor, for love and support. She also thanks new friends who helped her through this journey. She starts her career at Tanner Medical Center, Med Surge. Natia Sherry Gillis. Tia thanks her family for their support, and she will start her residency at Cartersville Medical Center in July and the BSN program in this fall. Stephanie Ann Gregory. <laughs> Stephanie thanks God, her husband Scott, kids, family, friends, and nursing sisters for support on this amazing, crazy journey. Stephanie accepted a position at Wellstar Paulding Hospital, IMCU, ICU. Sabrina Lynn Harding. Sabrina thanks her parents, Michael and Susan, brothers Mitchell and Jeremy, and boyfriend Dakota. I am who I am today because of y'all's guidance and support throughout this journey. She will begin GHC BSN program this fall. Wendy Harvey. Wendy thanks her intense and devoted study buddies, cousin Claire, and four wonderful children for their support and love during her 40-year quest. Thank you, God, for guiding me through. She accepted a Floyd nurse residency position. Uh. Priscilla Leah Haas. Leah thanks her supportive parents, Harry and Lisa, and her boyfriend, Camden, and best study buddy, Jordan. She is thrilled to begin work at Floyd Medical Center and plans to specialize in cardiac care. Leah Marie Hill. Mm, sorry, Leah plans, thanks her supportive parents, Harry and Lisa Hill. We got somebody out of order, apologize. Her boyfriend, Camden, and best study buddy, Jordan. She's thrilled to begin work at Floyd Medical Center and plans to specialize in cardiac care. Mackenzie Grace Holmes. Hey, Mackenzie. She thanks God, her family, and friends for their support, and she will start her career at Cartersville Medical Center in the emergency department. Kimberly B. Jenkins. Kimberly thanks God, her family, and friends for their love and support. She accepted a position with Harbin Clinic as a dialysis nurse and is thankful for this great opportunity. Julia M. Geronimo. Julia thanks God, her mom Maria, stepdad Vincente, and her boyfriend for immense support. She thanks her dad and stepmom as well, and a huge thanks to Carlos for being so patient and understanding. Julia will start her nurse residency at Floyd. Si se puede. Sarah B. Jimenez. 
Sarah thanks Eddie and Olivia for unconditional love and support and thanks her parents and mother-in-law for love, support, and understanding. She begins her career at Tanner Medical Center Emergency Department. Angela Stacy Kelly. Angela thanks her husband Kevin for his love and support and her family for understanding and support. Julie, Tracy, and Stephanie, you ladies made nursing school awesome. Angela praises God for carrying her through this journey. Michael James Karanen. Michael thanks God, his wife Melissa, two daughters Emma and Olivia, as well as friends and family for their love and support. Michael accepted a position at Wellstar Paulding Hospital in the OR. Sana Marie Louise Kramer. Sana thanks her parents and sister for their incredible support, love, and faith, and the teachers, especially Mrs. Sanderson and Mrs. Brown. She will start her BSN at GHC this fall and the Floyd Nurse Residency this program, the program this summer. Chelsea Jean Lansdale, magnum cum laude. Chelsea thanks God above all else, for giving her the opportunity and strength to be successful, for giving her parents, a husband, beautiful girls, and friends that offered unconditional love and support through this journey. Truly amazing people. Jason F. Lanyon, magnum cum laude. Jason thanks Gordon Lightfoot for changing his mind about being a ship captain, the wreck of the Esmond Fitzgerald. <laughs> Michael Andrew Larson. Michael thanks his mom, dad, brother Wesley, and wife Laura for lifting him up to this moment and for their constant support. Shelby A. Meatyard. Shelby accepted an ICU residency position at Northside Cherokee Hospital. Thank you, Mom, for believing in me. And Mrs. Sanderson and Dr. Stover, thank you for your support. Kelly and Lucas, I love you guys. Thank you for being there no matter what. Erica B. Miller. To God be all of his glory. Let go, let's go make excellence our habit and serve humanity with humility. Thanks to all of my prayer warriors, family, and Mia Moore. Toot, this is for you. Paul Mock. Paul thanks his husband, Sean, for putting up with him and thanks his friends, family, and classmates for keeping him going. Alicia L. Moon. Alicia thanks her family and friends for their prayers and encouragement, and Jason for his unconditional love and support. He made sure there was an endless supply of ice cream on test weeks. <laughs> Sarah J. Murray. Jordan thanks God, her family, and her study buddy, Leah. She says, Jordan says she made it through because of their love and support. Morgan A. Ong, cum laude. She, uh, um, okay, uh, Morgan is grateful to God and her family for their unconditional support. She will be working at the Wellstar Cobb Hospital Burn and Wound Clinic. Okay. Samantha E. Perry. Samantha thanks her family, friends, and the love of her life for their unconditional love and support, no matter how crazy life gets. Jacqueline Pineda. Jacqueline is pursuing residency at CMC and will start her BSN this fall. She thanks Natalie and PJ for their sacrifices, encouragement, love, and countless prayers. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Thank you, God. Riley James Purdy, cum laude. Riley is, above all, thankful to God. He thanks his family and friends for their support over the years. Riley accepted a position at the CCU at Redmond Regional Medical Center. Casey Hope Quick. Casey thanks God, her family, and fiance Chris for their love and support. She thanks her mom and dad for always believing in and never giving up on her. She couldn't have accomplished this without them. Amber Elizabeth Reynolds. Amber thanks her husband Josh and her son Matthew for being her motivators. She thanks her mother for 
with helping with studying and her dad and Sue Wright for tremendous help. Thank you all. Amber Marie Riley. Amber thanks her family and friends for their love and support, and she accepted a position in the emergency department at Wellstar Cobb. She is so ready for this next chapter. Kristen Nicole Rivers, cum laude. Kristen thanks Andy for his endless love and support, her parents Mark and Lori for instilling strength, and her professors Ms. Blevins and Ms. Hand for their kindness. Emily Robertson. Uh, Emily, the faculty congratulate you. <laughs> Heather Rogers, cum laude. Heather accepted a position in the Redmond Regional Medical Center ED. She will leave her EMS career and catch up on some sleep. She thanks her loving husband and three amazing children for supporting her on this journey. <laughs> Kayla Ellen Rogers. We congratulate you. Congratulations. Madison Odom Rogers. Okay. All right. Madison thanks her family, friends, and most importantly, God, for their unconditional love and support. Madison accepted a position at Floyd Medical Center in the nurse residency program. Taisha Michelle Rogers. Taisha thanks God, her family, friends, and faculty for their unconditional love, support, and faith in her during this journey. She says, I couldn't have done it without you. Leah Nicole Rowell, cum laude. Leah, the, the faculty congratulate you. <laughs> Megan Noel Sawyer. Megan gives all the glory to God and thanks her family and friends for endless support, especially Aubrey, for reminding her to never give up. She accepted a position at CHOA's PICU and cannot wait to make a difference in children's lives. Michaela Shattuck. Michaela, we congratulate you. Great job. Great job. Brock Raekwon Smith. Brock is grateful for this opportunity. He thanks God, his family, his friends, and the lovely nursing instructors for their love and support. Taylor Brooks Smith. Taylor thanks her boyfriend Justin for being her biggest supporter, constant motivator, and for always believing in her. Taylor accepted an ER nurse position at Paulding, Wellstar Paulding Hospital. Lauren Nicole Stevens. Lauren thanks God, her husband Nate, son Gunner, and her family for unwavering support during this journey. She plans to continue her career as an RN in the ICU at Tanner Medical Center. Brandy Michelle Swanson. Brandy is thankful to replace the initials LPN with RN after 21 years. She is looking forward to new adventures in the ER at Redmond. We made it. Tanisha Shermon Taylor. Tanisha thanks her loving family and daughter Andrea. Most importantly, thank you, Lord, because every good and perfect gift is from above. Erica Thornton. Erica thanks God for this journey of mercies and miracles. She also thanks Kyle for his love and support and belief in her, and Hattie, Carson, Wiley J for being the heart and soul of her journey. She also thanks her parents, in-laws, siblings for their unwavering love and support. Christine Jasmine Valdez. We congratulate you, Christine. Good job. Brooke Liz Walker, magnum cum laude. Brooke thanks her family, friends, and boyfriend Cody for unconditional love and support. She thanks God for unwavering grace and faithfulness. She accepted a position at Tanner Medical Center in the emergency department. Cassie Danielle West. Cassie thanks her wonderful husband Andre and two beautiful daughters for their unwavering love and support. After welcoming a new baby boy, she plans to pursue her BSN and later nurse midwifery. 
Mary Elizabeth Whitener. Elizabeth Cum first, laude. Okay. Elizabeth first gives thanks and praise to God. She also thanks her mother, children Stella and Eli, and friends and family and professors for their love, support, and encouragement. Erin C. Wilder, cum laude. Erin thanks her fiance Spencer, her parents and grandparents, and to the Lord for his faithfulness that brought her through. Without you all, this great accomplishment would have been impossible. Marley Nicole Wright. Marley thanks her fiance, family, and especially God for all the love and support. Marley accepted a position in Floyd's nurse residency program. Will all the graduates stand? As a symbolic gesture of your accomplishments, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you today and forever these graduates of the Georgia Highlands College Class of 2021. I'd like to call Wendy Harvey for the nursing pledge. and graduating class of 2021, please stand. Recite along with me the International Nursing Pledge. In the full acknowledgement of the obligations I am undertaking, I promise to care for the sick, with all the skill and understanding I possess, without regard to race, creed, color, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients under my care, holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me and refraining from any action which might endanger life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to keep loyal support and cooperation to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost to honor the International Code of Ethics applied to nursing and to uphold the integrity of the nurse. You may be seated. Suzanne Garrett will join us for the closing prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, 
We are in awe of your goodness to us and acknowledge that it is only by your grace that we have made it to this momentous day of graduation. Thank you for the wisdom that you impart to us daily to use the best judgment for the patients we have cared for and will continue to care for in the future. We ask for the kind of compassion and caring that could only come from a divine source as we go forth into our careers as nurses. As your holy word says, may our words be as a honeycomb, gracious, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones. Please grant us your strength and help us not to grow weary in well-doing, but may we always treat every person with kindness, respect, and dignity. Once again, thank you, Father, for this opportunity to serve those whom you place in our care. For we acknowledge you as the great healer and know that as Luke 5.31 says, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, Wendy and Suzanne. It is with great pleasure that Georgia Highlands College recognizes the 2021 graduates as a new generation of GHC alumni. You join the ranks of 22,000 GHC alumni across the state and nation who have gone on to become medical professionals, attorneys, politicians, journalists, authors, entrepreneurs, scientists, artists, and nurses. We look forward to your future and what you will accomplish in your career path. Congratulations, Chargers. You did it. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, as our ceremony closes today with the recessional, we ask that you make your way outside to join your graduates to allow our commencement volunteers to quickly prepare our venue for the next ceremony group. I now ask everyone to please stand and remain standing for the recessional after Professor Robert Adams leads us for the GHC alma mater. Thank you. 